All right, guys, welcome back. Let's fix that a little bit to another episode of Freight Experience. It's that time of the month again, where it's December. MTB Pro Box is in of December, of course. Let's get her open. Before we open the box, real talk. I heard some people have been getting a little frog-like bait, better known as the Live Target Hollow Body Sunfish. And I've been really wanting to do, I've been needing to do a MTB Slam, so I'm really hoping I can do this one. I'm hoping they give me some good, you know, some good, uh, some good baits for here in California for the Motherload Lakes, being Don Pedro, Comanche, McClure, Maloney's, Hogan, Tolick. Amador Salt Springs and some other, some other stuff, I guess, or maybe a river, maybe. But I'm hoping I don't get anything top water. Hoping I get some stuff that runs probably in between that 10 to 20. If I'm gonna go fish Tolik or 30 to 60, which meaning there's no reaction bait besides a 30 run, deep 30 running crankbait or swim bait. But if I get anything top water, I'd be really mad because I heard some people, fellow subscriber, or um fellow YouTubers and subscribers to my channel that uh, they got a frog. Not uh, any frog, but this right here. This is not, hopefully, not one that I'm going to get in the box. Uh, this is just one that I like to have on hand because I catch fish on it. Not this one because it's not that time of year yet. But let's get started. People at MTV, why do you hate me? All right, let's get started with something at the bottom. As always, the Powerlock Plus 9-Aught Hooks by Mustag. These are, uh, of course, swim bait hooks. Well, you guys don't know yet, but I do. All right here. And those are, of course, 9-Aught 5.33 retail price made by Mustag. Do not know what the weight is but they look to be quarter ounce probably three eighths not half ounce but probably three eighths five sixteenth i would have to say but when there's swim bait hooks there's obviously a swim bait so moving on to the next bait is by intruder this is the bruiser baits retails for 4.49 don't be looking at the bottom of course ah shite so with bruiser baits, they never really give you a color name or exactly what this is, but this is clearly a uh, creature craw bait in a blue, blue, blue color right here. Uh, blue color, blue flake, blue, basically. Uh, this is something I'd use for punching probably. Uh, maybe trim it down and use it as a uh, kind of a finessey bestie kind of jig. Here we go. But... Oh, it has a little purple on the bottom too. But uh, that's not going to help me for the Mother Little Lakes. Maybe pull a fishing the Mid Mormon and cut it right down the middle and drop shot half of it and catch some bass. Hole in one. Moving on to the Twin Tail by Lake Lunker. Okay, real talk again. I absolutely hate Lake Lunkers. People say, oh, they're amazing. Ooh, they're good. No, they're not. Uh, every pack that I get, there's probably three quarters of the bait inside are screwed up, either having dents, bubbles, holes, uh, not straight at all. I mean, I got a worm one time, and the thing was like a snake. It was they're they're not good. And of course, they get me, <laughs> they give me a twin tail grub, not in a you know nice watermelon green, p uh, pink maybe. Nope, they gave me bright shark truce right there. Or better known as other words, better known as outlaw. Yellow! There we go. So let's go ahead and just crack these mother lovers open right here. Yep. Twin tail grub right there. Uh, I have no idea what the heck I'd use for this. Uh, go drop shot some crappie in 80 feet of water out in Don Pedro. But, um, I'm kidding. But if I was to throw this, which hopefully I won't, it's going to be on to the next bait. It is the Boom Boom Swim Bait by Optimal Swim Baits for $5.50. Uh, 
this is a bait that I've been wanting to get for, I'd say, the last eight hours because I've seen some people get it in their box. And I do overall like it. It's 3D scale design, lifelike head and body shimmy. It's called the Panicked Action. It says, uh, Panicked Action is the weedless swim bait, of course, by Optimum. And um, it comes in a ghost minnow color, which I wouldn't say it's really ghost minnow. I'd consider that more of like a, uh, what does we have here in California? Maybe a greenback shiner or a, um, what are they? Not, they're not hyacinth, but they are maybe a hyacinth minnow. I'm not 100% sure what they're called. There's something like that. They're on the Delta. <clears throat> And it says suggested tackle and lure specs. So for heavy cover, it says 50 to 75 or 70 pound braid. Here in California, we cannot get away with that because we have crystal clear water. But for me, if I was gonna throw it, I'd probably throw it on 20 pound, 15 to 20 pound mono, or sorry, fluoro max. And then for open water, it says 20 pound fluorocarbon. I here in California, of course, I'm gonna go with 12. Uh, rod size 7 to 7.11 heavy action, which that sounds about right. Probably get away with throwing it on a medium heavy if uh, if your medium heavy is a little more bulkier and has a bit of a stiffer design to it. And uh, for real, it says 6.51 gear ratio. I prefer to throw it on a 6.31 gear ratio because I like to be able to slow it down a little bit more. And it says for hook, it says rig with a wide gap screw lock weighted swim bait hook 8 Ought or larger manufacturers vary and then weight is four or 1.4 ounce and total length is eight or six inches so I do like that it's a definitely an interesting swim bait um, I have one tied on not an optimum but it's right there and it has a screw in it a screw lock I do actually want to try this because I don't know just have this feeling what a feeling all right moving on Moving on next, for a whopping total of $7.49, we have the Suspending Crankbait RGD Series by Baker's Lures. Alrighty then. So I've seen some people get a terrible color, which is black, and I'm glad I did not get a black colored crankbait. I got instead this color, which it most likely goes 7 to 10 foot or 8 to 10 foot. Uh, depending on your line diameter but here in california i like to crank on 10 to 8 pound test with a 631 gear ratio or a 651 most likely a 651 and um so most companies who do who put their line or their um their depth it's done on a 12 pound test so that's how they got that 7 to 10 which depending on your line diameter which if it's 12 pound test, most likely this will go seven to 10, depending on your rod. If you're throwing on braid, which I don't ever throw a crankbait on braid, I throw a route trap on braid because normally I'm throwing it at about three to five feet of water with nothing but grass, but that's on the Delta. You get away with a lot of things on the Delta. So I, like I said, I like to, I like to crank on 10 to eight, 10 pound test. You can probably get that 10 to 12 foot and uh, eight foot probably get maybe just a solid 12 or maybe a little it all depending on it all depends on the lure too that's going off a of lucky craft that's why i mostly throw is lucky craft and um of course lucky craft is the bomb diggity uh it does not tell me what color this is but it's let's say ghost minnow along with optimal swim baits back there and uh last but not least is a bait that uh i wish I was hoping I did not get, and that is the Live Target Hollow Body Sunfish. And um, I'm not 100% sure what this color is, but I'm going to go ahead and say Bluegill, or um, let's go with its real name. This is... I should say on the side. Nope, well, it's a, it's a Bluegill right there, but it's uh, I know the real name of it. It's like Olive something. Olive Green. Let's take a minute. It's olive something. It's like a olive green. What's the shell cracker? No. Olive green something. Oh, right here. It's pearl olive pumpkin seed. There we go. Not olive or not whatever I was saying. I can't even remember. But I'm kind of depressed that I got this because now I know the slam will not be completed because I will not be able to catch a fish on this. Because the water temp is in a whopping 55 to 50 degrees, depending on what lake you're at. 
And uh, I don't think top water's going to be going on, even on the Delta. So I'm going to buy a plane ticket and go to Florida just to throw this. Yeah. So I'm super stoked. Now I'll go on the truck. And I'm super stoked about getting this box. I did get... I got... I guess I'd say... Overall, this was an okay box. Um, I wish I could have changed out the colors of the bruiser bait into more of a natural green pumpkin, green water, uh, watermelon, watermelon red. Something a little more natural so I get my finesse Bessie going. Uh, those twin tail grubs, I wish I could just burn those, but I can't. Well, I could, but that won't look cool. That would probably will look cool. Uh, if I had to change those at all, I wish maybe just a different color. Even I, I kind of want to... Kind of want one of those in blue, maybe, because I do like to throw a, um, a blue trailer. But you guys are saying, why not throw the bruiser bait? Because it's not the same. It's not a twin tail grub. Uh, change those into a watermelon, maybe blue. Uh, the crankbait, probably change that to more of a shad pattern, maybe black tops, silver sides, white sides, um, or sexy shad, chartreuse sexy shad, ghost minnow, the real ghost minnow. Um, the hollow body sunfish frog looking thingy uh not i'm happy that i got that because that saves me some money on going out and getting one now when it becomes frog season i go huck that bad boy around but overall the color's fine i would it, i'm not you know too skeptical about the color of a of a frog and of course the swim bait which i got it in what they say is ghost minnow uh i can see that more of like a more of a bassy kind of color it just has a little more green in it than um, a lot of normal things but it uh looks maybe it could pass off as a hitch maybe um here in the mother low lakes a uh the shiners that you can actually buy at the store tend to have a green top to them that was like an oversized shiner uh but in the delta they have hyacinth minnows which i've heard people call them by their actual name those are just bank fishing bank fishermen talk calling them hyacinth minnows because they actually catch them which is kind of crazy and they do have a green top to them and they normally catch them around hyacinth i think they just follow the hyacinth around I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. And, of course, we got these bad mamma jammas right here. Happy I got these for throwing a swim bait on, even though I got some gamagatsus and the um, owners in these as well. But I'm pretty happy. Got this sick sticker decal right here by Catchco. That's going to go on my truck. And so, overall, this was, this was an okay box. Um, I just like those three things. I got the hooks, the frog, the swim bait, and I guess the crankbait. I'll go with four. But as always, guys, stay tuned for another episode of the Frey Experience, and hopefully not. there's not going to be a slam. Unless my plans, my plans get canceled this weekend, then I may go out to Tolk with Going Ham Outdoors. And as always, guys, stay tuned.